Spike put all the light skinned girls in one hotel. What? A nicer hotel. He put the dark skinned girls in a motel. Recently, a video resurfaced featuring Tisha Campbell discussing an aspect of Spike Lee's filming process for his 1988 movie School Days. In the clip, Campbell reveals that Lee intentionally separated the cast into groups based on skin tone, with dark-skinned actresses placed apart from their light-skinned counterparts. School Days, a film exploring themes of fraternities and colorism within an all-black college setting, featured an ensemble cast including Lawrence Fishburne, Giancarlo Esposito, Kaim, Lee, and others. Campbell, portraying the character Jane Toussaint, led the wannabes, a group of light-skinned women characterized by their bone-straight hair. The resurfacing of this clip sheds light on the complexities of colorism within the film industry and the broader societal implications of such practices. It prompts discussions about representation, discrimination, and the perpetuation of harmful stereotypes within media portrayals. Tisha Campbell, best known for her role in the sitcom Martin, recently shared insights into Spike Lee's approach during the filming of his 1988 movie School Days. In a revealing account, Campbell disclosed Lee's deliberate strategy to generate authentic tension among the cast, particularly between dark-skinned and light-skinned actresses. According to Campbell, Lee orchestrated a division among the actresses by segregating them into different hotels with distinct accommodations, the dark-skinned actresses were lodged separately from their light-skinned counterparts, a move intended to heighten the interpersonal dynamics and conflicts portrayed on screen. In an effort to exacerbate the tension further, Lee ensured that all male actors were housed in the same hotel as the light-skinned female cast members. This decision not only reinforced the divide between the two groups of women, but also positioned the male actors in close proximity to the light-skinned actresses, potentially intensifying any existing animosities or biases. Campbell's recollection of these arrangements sheds light on the lengths to which filmmakers may go to evoke specific emotions and reactions from their cast, even if it means employing controversial methods. It also prompts reflection on the broader themes of colorism, discrimination, and power dynamics within the entertainment industry, sparking important conversations about representation and equality. Tisha Campbell, the esteemed 55-year-old actress, provided further insight into her experience during the filming of Spike Lee's School Days. Reflecting on the unconventional methods employed by Lee to evoke authentic emotions among the cast, Campbell revealed the intentional separation of dark-skinned and light-skinned actresses into different hotel accommodations. Despite the divisive arrangements orchestrated by Lee, Campbell opted to spend most of her time with the actresses lodged in the motel. She acknowledged the underlying purpose behind Lee's strategy, recognizing it as a deliberate attempt to create genuine tension and chaos among the cast, thus enhancing the authenticity of the performances. However, Campbell's commitment to her craft was tested by the extreme nature of Lee's methods. She admitted to grappling with the discomfort and ethical implications of the situation, ultimately finding solace in the company of her fellow cast members. The revelation of Lee's social experiment sparked outrage among fans, who denounced the separation of the actresses based on skin color as a blatant workplace violation. Many expressed their dismay on social media platforms, condemning Lee's actions and questioning the ethical boundaries of artistic expression. One user highlighted the unequal treatment of the actresses, noting that Lee afforded preferential treatment to the lighter-skinned black actresses by accommodating them in superior hotel conditions. This disparity fueled further criticism and raised important questions about the ethical implications of sacrificing human dignity for the sake of artistic authenticity. Campbell's candid recollection of her experience sheds light on the complex dynamics at play behind the scenes of school days, prompting reflection on the responsibilities of filmmakers and the enduring impact of their creative decisions on the well-being of their cast. The response to Spike Lee's divisive approach to filmmaking during the production of School Days elicited a wide range of reactions from fans and critics alike. 
While some condemned Lee's actions as a blatant violation of workplace ethics and an affront to the professionalism of the cast, others defended his methods as a bold and innovative approach to achieving Several authenticity and voiced their outrage at the perceived discrimination inherent in Lee's decision to segregate the cast based on skin color. They decried the unequal treatment of the dark-skinned actresses, arguing that such actions were unnecessary and unjustifiable, even in the pursuit of artistic excellence. Many expressed disbelief that Lee would resort to such extreme measures, questioning the morality of sacrificing the well-being of the cast for the sake of creating tension on screen. However, amidst the condemnation, there were also those who saw merit in Lee's unconventional approach. Some fans praised his commitment to pushing the boundaries of traditional filmmaking, lauding his willingness to experiment with methods that challenge conventional norms. They commended Lee for his ability to elicit raw, authentic performances from the cast, even if it meant subjecting them to uncomfortable situations. For these supporters, Lee's decision to integrate a social experiment into his artistic process added depth and complexity to the film. Elevating it beyond mere entertainment to a thought-provoking